Hello everybody and welcome to another Look It's Lola clothing try on haul. Today I'm going to be doing a series of active wear like yoga tops like stuff you would wear if you were to do the yoga. So like this. This would be a good example. This little yoga top is made of the athletic wear material, which I guess is like moisture wicking, which I believe means pulls the moisture somewhere that it should go when you're doing yoga. Science. It is, this one's just a little gray yoga active wear top. Do some activities in it. Oh, I have a sick front kick. Want to see my front kick? Boom, front kick. Boom, front kick. As you can see, the top is holding up very well. The back's a normal back, as one would be if you were to do yoga. Um, I don't do yoga, but I can think of some yoga moves, I think. I think they do this thing, which I don't know what that does. I think. Okay, I really don't know any yoga. This is going to be clear going throughout this whole video that I don't really know yoga. Um, I do do a front kick though, so there's that. <laughs> These are tops you could wear if you want to throw sick front kicks. And I guess do yoga too if you're interested in that kind of thing. All right, this one's obviously a little v-neck. And like I said, it's like an elastic, like stretchy stretchy material. Oh, as you can see, see it blowing my hair up. You see that? That's just from doing this with the fabric. Makes my hair move. So there's that. If you're looking for a top that does movement to your hair, this would be one of them. Um, I got it at the TJ Maxx more than likely probably paid about 15 bucks for it if that i don't know this is more like the nicer ones like the stitching on the side as you can see it's very like fancy stitching so it might have been closer to 20 than 10 so and i think these shorts are yoga shorts they're front kick shorts i can tell you that much all right on to the next yoga top. All right, this next yoga top is, uh, I'd say it's more like a, what would this be, like a maroonish color? It is a little scoop neck top, as you can see here. It is the moisture wicking fabric. Back scoops down too, so it's like, oh, it's not fixed properly, there we go. So it's like a, a double scoop. Top, maybe, possibly. <laughs> I don't know, as I said, I don't do yoga. You can also bam, throw a front kick in this one as well, so there's that. I like the color. It has some elastic stretchiness. It doesn't have a, as much air flowing. Ventilation, there's a word. <laughs> Top is the other one. I like it. The um, straps on this one are a little thinner. So if you actually do do the yoga or any type of like super like active uh, type activity, you might want to go with the other one that has a thicker strap. You can feel this one like kind of see. If I move to the side, it kind of starts like slipping down. So I got this one at TJ Maxx as well. I think I probably paid about $15 for this one. Uh, I would say this one's probably closer to 10 than 20 just because of the material. Like I can feel a like, difference in the quality of material. This top you couldn't be as active as you could be in the last one, I guess, would be a good way of explaining it. Um, I wish I knew yoga moves. I probably should have looked some up before I started this video, huh? Should have had hindsight. I like the color. I said it's like a reddish maroonish color situation 
and I also should have flat ironed my hair. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite active wear. Oh, I can actively drink water on it. See, this would be like a workout shot right here. Stay hydrated, super important. 2024, the year of hydration. All right. Let's see. You could probably do some jogging in this top, some cycling. Um, dog walking. I do a lot of dog walking personally and a lot of front kick throwing. You could probably do a crane kick in it. I think this is a crane kick. I'm not sure. I watch a lot of MMA. I should probably know what a crane kick is. I don't think I've ever seen someone successfully execute a crane kick though in an MMA fight, so there's that. Oh, my boy Sean Strickland lost, you guys. I'm very sad. I really, he did, he won. Technically, he won. In the next top, uh, the next active war top, I will explain to you why Sean Strickland actually won that fight. So get ready for it. Some MMA commentary while trying on yoga tops. <laughs> All right, one more spin move before I completely explain why Sean Strickland won that fight. And Duplessis is not a real champ. He's a champ in name only. All right, next top and next MMA breakdown commentary. Doing two things on this channel, trying on clothes and explaining to you MMA. Enjoy it. Next up. All right, this next one, I got it Forever 21. I think this technically probably would be more of a sports bra, as you can see, with the adjustable straps. It's Oh, it actually crosses in the back, if you can see that. Then a uh, active wear top, but still nonetheless, you could do exercise and active type things in a top like this. Got it for over 21, so I paid like 10 bucks for it. It's cute though, it's uh, got like a longer bottom up underneath the bra type situation. And like I said, the straps are adjustable. I like doing this way. <laughs> you can throw a front kick in it. So there's that. You can do active type things in it. All right. So on to my Strickland commentary. So he totally won that fight. If you look at the active um, headshots as well as body shots, he had Duplessis beat in all of those categories and I'm from the old school where to take the belt from the champion you have to take the belt from the champion like you have to it had you have to clearly have won that fight and I don't think Duplessis clearly won that fight so I was bummed when he lost again me and Dan White agrees with me that Sean Strickland won that fight and if you look at, um, during the fight, he had a, after the fight, he had a little cut above his eye, but that cut did not come from an active shot that Duplessis landed that actually came from a headbutt on a break, I think in the second or third round. So the damage that he took really wasn't technically legal damage that should have been counted, but I don't know. I'm bummed. I don't think they're going to run it back anytime soon and let Sean, they, I think they already said that they're not going to run it back and let him um, try to get the belt back, which is a bummer. And to be honest with you, I don't know <laughs> how big of a fan the UFC is going to be of putting him in the contention to get that belt back because he was a little, a little bit of an issue on the mic, but everybody loved him. I honestly didn't know how much I loved him until he became champion. He was the champion that we needed. He's like, in my mind, right up there with like Conor McGregor with like the level of like fandom for him. Like Nate Diaz, 
Conor McGregor, actually, in all actuality, Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, Strickland, but Strickland might be above Diaz now. I don't know. I love Nate Diaz. I'm a Nate Diaz fan till the death of me, but I'm a huge Strickland fan as well. So it was a bummer to see him lose. I was legit sad like all week. And, and here I am now making this try on haul video explaining the ins and outs of MMA to you guys. I bet you're not even listening to this. If you are, you're welcome. Name of Michael Bisping's MMA podcast. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, if you could do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, down in this general area, down here, down here. There's going to be a buy me a coffee link in the description if you would like to donate to my amazing try on haul content. I would greatly appreciate it. It gives me incentives to keep doing these videos every week. All right, guys, I will see you next week with another dope try on haul of I don't know yet, but yeah, see you next week. Bye.